The smash is a similar action to the serve. However, because there is less time, a modified backswing is required. On the backswing, the racket is kept above the waist. It is also kept in motion during the entire swing. That is, there is no stopping of the racket during the swing. This ensures that racket head speed is maximised for power. The left arm points towards the ball, thus keeping the body side on. Footwork is different for smashes in two parts of the court. If the ball is going to land no further back than the service line, the smasher has time to get to the ball. If this is the case, the right foot moves backward first and the left foot is brought back to it. This movement pattern adds stability and balance to the smash. On the other hand, if the ball is going beyond the service line, the smasher does not have much time to get to the ball. Therefore, the smasher has to turn sideways and run in little steps while in a side-on position. Tim thinks he has time and commences to sidestep but finds he has to run sideways to make good position. Yannick's athleticism gets him to the ball easily after he's off balance. He pronates his arm and smashes wide to the backhand side. Boris is close to the net and finds he has to get back quickly to cover the lob. Notice his side on running before he leaps up. Stefan sidesteps into position and modifies his backswing so that the racket head is continuously moving. 